Can you hear me? Yeah. My name is Ohad Schwartz, and I'm the CEO of Corbone, where we develop bioactive bone grafts. What is a bone graft? There was some discussion here about bone graft. But basically, if you do an implant, you have to have a bone. There's no implant without a bone. And whereas there's missing bone, you use bone graft in order to fill the voids during the implant procedures and to have a faster healing process. It is basically a scaffold, I would say, a temporary frame. You're not familiar with the term scaffold, which is used to enhance the growth of new bone and to anchor the implants. It is increasing in increased use in orthopedic, spine, and dental procedures. And probably many of you, when I look at the crowd, have, imp have implants which are used together with bone grafts, mainly probably for uh, dental procedures. Today, common materials are coming from animal, mainly cow, or from human donors, John Doe's, or synthetic slash mineral uh, materials, which is the fastest growing segment of the market. As you can see, they usually come in grains, in different shapes and sizes, or in blocks. In order to get an optimal product, and these are very rarely achieved, they have to have four major features. The first one, it has to be biocompatible, meaning accepted by the body and not rejected or causing inflammation. The second feature, it has to be a suitable strength. It has to be similar strength to the human body in order not to be the big part in the chain of bone, bone graft, and uh, implant. They have to enable remodeling, meaning to be replaced by the new bone and evacuated from the body at the same rate of the uh, new bone growth. And the last feature is bioactivity, meaning they have to attract and to host new bone cells in order to speed up the creation of new bone. If you'll have those four features, it will be a perfect material. Very few materials, if any, have all those four features together. We at Corbin has been able to achieve that. And how did we do it? We are using corals. Corals are known for about 30 years as excellent bone material for bone grafting materials. There are several companies in this field, and they're using corals from the sea. Corals, if you're familiar, they are endangered species and are forbidden for trading. We, on contrast, we are using our own uh, coral farm, where we grow our corals in a closed system, fully monitored at real time, and we give the corals, and this is uh, basically a pool where you have about 500 corals growing all together, we give them a special diet. And this diet is a bioactive diet. We give them bioactive ingredients where they embed it into the coral skeleton during its growth. Here you can see it a CT scan from one of our corals, you can see that it's very similar in terms of structure to human bone. It has the right porosity, which is about 40%. You see those tunnels that enables uh, new blood vessels to grow and to spread and, and to build the new bone material into there. This is one of our corals on top of it. And what you, we're having in our laboratory model, we have a continuous uh, preclinical trial with uh, rats. Where in this model, which is a special model, a topic model, where you do the implants beneath the skin and not close to a functional bone, we are using those implants. And within 21 days of operation, you can see that new bone was created. And you can see that new bone marrow were created. So these are excellent results. We have a database where we compare those results to existing products, and these are very, very promising uh, results. And we had them just now in the fourth successive trial. The market is quite substantial, $3.3 .3 billion in 2017. There's about 2.2 million per implant procedures where you use bone grafting, 40% of them in the States. Pricing for such products are ranging between about $100 to $300 per gram, where you have one between one to three grams uh, in each procedure. So depends on procedure. And if you look at the market, there were several acquisitions in, uh, in the recent year. 
Interpol, it's a company where uh, they use coral from the, from the sea, was acquired by Biomet for $270 million. You can see that Author Vita was acquired by Striker about 18 months ago, if I'm not mistaken, for 318. And just now, Biomimetic announced a week ago, I think, a merger with Wright Medical for $380 valuation. In order to get at least close to those figures, we need your help and to raise about one to point million dollar, which will help us to complete our FDA, which is 510K, and currently no clinical studies required, uh, and CE mark for both dental and orthopedic products. We are aiming to start with the dental market, which is easier, you know, as a step point to get approvals. Uh, my colleague, who is here, Professor Isaac Binderman, has been in this market for about 30 years. He established the a heart tissue laboratory in Suraski Hospitals. And uh, we want to establish a GMP manufacturing site and GLP lab in order to process our products, to perform clinical trials to support, to give an evidence for uh, the success of those products. Only earlier this year, uh, there was a chapter in a book about tissue engineering that was published that show 100% correlation between the type of animal trials that we are conducting to human trials, taking uh, uh, histologist biopsies from human, uh, from dental procedures. And we, we have a product, basically. We need to establish all those things in order to be able to start to sell it. As you see, the marketing partners will be the major implant companies that are acquiring more and more uh, bone grafting companies. And that's it. Me and my partner will be very happy to meet you later and to show you these little corals that valued for about $1,000 each coming from our farm. Thank you. <laughs>